selection of rather sad vegetables that are a bit past their best, but it won't make any difference. I'm going to put them in a soup. Um, as you can see, the carrots have started to seed <laughs> and um, the leeks are past their best and the parsley's looking a bit sad for itself, but it's still fresh, so it's good enough. The chicken, thankfully, is just fine. Uh, my nan used to make this and I was going to make it when we were in Carrick because that's very close to where I grew up and where she taught me to cook this and she used a lot of barley in it so she called it barley soup but it's really closer to chicken broth and since we're in Scotland today um, the closest soup really to it would be cock and leaky so and I happen to have some leeks handy rather than boring you to death watching me chop things up what I'll do is I will just simply wave my knife so that's it all chopped. So I've left some of the leeks like that because why not? I'll do the parsley a bit later. Put in about two tablespoons of lentils and just cover the top with some mixed herbs and then the parsley will go in. Right, bit of oil. I suppose if you're in the mood you could use butter or margarine if you're that way inclined. I'm just using ordinary cooking oil. Let's give it a little spread about the bottom. Like I said, don't add these ingredients in any particular order. I've got roughly one diced chicken breast. But you can use anything, turkey, leftover chicken, whatever. Um, and with the onions as well. Actually, I suppose I do have an order. I get these going, then I put it in the root vegetable second. Right. Two teaspoons of garlic in there. You can use chopped garlic obviously, but on a boat, garlic in a tube stays fresh. So I use garlic in a tube. Put a bit of pepper in. Just enough to cover everybody chicken with a bit of pepper. Not a huge amount. And these stock cubes generally I find are salty enough, so I don't tend to add any more salt. I'm going to add a bit of water in here. Just to stop things from burning. Okay. Some mixed herbs, just lightly cover the pot. And I think I'll add in my lentils at this point as well. Oops. One. Two. Right, that's just about to boil. Everything else, like that is. And it's now just covered with water. And I'm going to use all of this parsley. I don't keep any of it. Now you could pick all this off. That's what I used to do as a kid. I used to pick each individual bit of parsley off the top. So it's just as quick to get a knife and just rub it off at the edge of the knife. You don't tend to miss much doing this. What you do miss get with your fingertips. If you don't like the stalks, rip them off. I know there was chicken in this board earlier, but it's all going to boil in a pot for an hour or two, so I'm not really too panicked about it. I'm sure the um, health and safety brigade would be after me, but they've got to find me first. The nice thing about a boat is it moves around and they can't keep track of me. Ha ha ha. So I'm going to take all of that. Pretty much good to go. Now it's just a matter of diluting the soup down to whatever consistency you like your soup. If you like a really, really thick broth, don't put too much water in. If you like a thinner soup, put more water in. Complicated, but there you go. This now goes in. Give it one last stir. And let it get on the cooking until it's ready. So it's a few hours later and this is what we have. 